Hi guys, this is Fee and I have another unboxing. I know what's in this one, although I haven't seen the video from Diamond Shop. But um, last time I ordered from them, I actually said to them when they ship it away, send it off to me, if I can actually put my channel name on there, which they've done. So how cool is that? Oops, sorry, shadows, cameras, all of that. Um, so I'm really excited about that. But I'm also excited about something else, which is in here is three custom diamond paintings. What I can say about it is I've already had two of these ordered as customs and I gave them away. Um, but they were 40 by 50s and they were squares. So what I did do, I thought I'd give Diamond a shop, Diamond Shop a go with their customs. And I'll take you through the process of ordering a custom and show you how easy it is and how quick it is. Um, but yeah, I'm really wrapped that they actually put my channel name on there. So woohoo! And considering that, what was it? I only finished their diamond. I finished the um, kimono uh, only a few days ago. Well, I wouldn't have finished that Friday. Yeah, Friday. Yep. Yeah. Excuse me while I get into this. Right, yeah, I got it out of the bag. <clears throat> it looks much better. Okay, so I'm just going to take this off ever so gently. I'm going to keep this one. This, I like this tag. Oh, so, rip the wrapping. Okay, that's okay. Um, so, yeah, at the moment, I will take you through the process of ordering a custom diamond painting through Diamond Shop. Um, they... They were actually <clears throat> really, really, really easy to, to work with in relation to a custom. I've ordered customs before, obviously. Hang on. That's... I need a new sticker on here. Where are we going to put this one? I don't cover that one up, I think. I can put it up there. There we go. That's better. Considering that that saying is actually pretty insulting in Australia. Okay, so... I will take you through the process of ordering a custom, um, but I will unbox this first. Um, actually, no, before I unbox this, I'm going to pop in here while I take this, when I ta I'll take this out of the package and pop in here how to order a custom. Ordering a custom, I've had a bit of communication with Thai Moon Shop, um, yeah, but back. 24th of October so I'm looking at about six weeks to get this um, but there was where I started asking questions 24th October I asked the question 24th of October night 20 minutes later I got an answer so this is how quick they are when you use messenger um, I sent them through two pictures and then I changed my mind for three um, then I sent something else. I don't, can't quite recall what that was. But, um, anyway, he's turned around. Give, give him a couple of days to get back to him. And there's me going, I've just done more. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, I do work faster on my projects. Okay, so what's happened is Reg is in, Reggie has come back with these three images. And he has beefed up the green. And he said he's taken the, he's, you know, he lets me know lets you know what he's done to adjust. Um, yeah, I was naughty at work when I was looking at this. Um, colour changes don't seem right. So he's gone back and rectified. Um, he's put it back with the original backgrounds. Um, and then, so we've all, because the leopard is actually Kruger. Um, what he has done, you can see, I, I've then turned around and gone about this one. The leopard being dulled down looks almost emerald green opposed to a pistachio green and up the size to a 50 by 60. Um, but hang on. Just when did he send these to me? So the 27th of first communicated with the 24th. Three days later, he sent me these on the 27th of October. At one. 30 in the morning, or 1.40 in the morning. Um, 
27th, 27th, 27th. Okay. So basically 27th of October in a space of 14 hours we'd gone backwards and forwards about getting the backgrounds right, getting the images right, getting the size right. Um, and yeah, from there he puts, gives you the link. So I'm going to show you, I'll click on this link. And the link is taking me directly to what they put into the background, they put into their um, system. They actually create them in the system so that you can actually do a drop down and if I didn't, um, if I only wanted to purchase a one at this stage, I could have purchased the one. Just pop that so you can see the US price. Um, yeah, so that, yeah, I could have just purchased the one and just had the other three there and I could have ordered them slowly or whatever. But yeah, um, that is as easy as it goes to placing an order. Place an order and um, yeah, that's easy as. So ordering a custom is simple, very quick um, to actually get the process rolling. Uh, it does take a bit of time for the for it to be made and sent to you. However, um, yeah, I mean that's all customs are like that. So what I've done, I've taken out the boxes. I'm going to pull these out and drill shape. Oh, that's what I want to show. I do want to show you a little how to adjust your order so you don't get to the case. But four trays, a heap of wax, got tweezers and a multi multi -plaser, plaser. Um, Believe it or not, I actually don't use multi plasers anymore. Um, yeah, I'm, I've changed how I dine and paint. I don't use my papers. Okay, which box do I go first? Ooh. Okay. This one's actually the lightest one. So this one's, let's say, only got one bag of drills in. That box is empty. Ooh. And this one's got one. Oh. Two. Oh. Oh. Okay. That bag is boxy empty. So what have we got here? That's one canvas. <gasps> Sorry, this is what you call excitement. Um, and the thing is, like I've already seen these before, but I've seen them as forty by fifty, and I didn't do them myself. So this is these are customs for myself. Um, what I will say is, um, hang on, where do we find out? Where are we at? I am at, where's my dashboard? I'm just trying to look. So 9th of December, 829 subscribers. What I will do for a 1,000 subscriber draw, so I'm bearing this in here, 1,000 subscribers, and I'll do a, get a custom from Diamond Shop for you. How about that? Winner of a custom, winner, winner of my thousand thousand subscriber giveaway will be a custom from Diamond Shop. How's that for win? Okay, oh, just switch. <laughs> That's the one that nobody's seen that image. Oh, oh look at this! <laughs> it's always exciting when you have your own customs done. Okay, oh, which one? Now, yeah. the great thing about this is um, I might be able to order these without any um, having to pre-order again. Like the, 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 I've got the code already, so I might be able to order these again. So that one is, oh gosh, which one are you? That's, okay, that one's for last. That's that one, I believe, is that one. Yeah, that's that one. 
Oh, camera, come on, focus. How much of that did you lose? There we go. So that's that one. Hang on. Yeah, that's that one. Oh, okay. I'm with it now. <laughs> Tad excited. So this has been done in their new style, which, which has the legend. And it's a 62 by 50. And... Oops, hang on. That's what's got me back. Playing games with this. 152, 152. I'm going to have to check these because <laughs> one's a cheater and one's a leopard. And I think they've been taken up long. Gone. But here we go. <gasps> Look at that. I couldn't wait. I couldn't wait for the colours. I've got to do this. I had to do this. Had to do it. Okay. Um, how's that? I've got um. Okay, I need to chillax a bit. Um, but we will go. <laughs> it's this one. to check on that. The reason why I'm baffled is because that's the cheetah. Yeah, they've written a leopard on it. So I will do a check with Diamond Shop to make sure that that is all good. But I do believe they'll be okay. But all it will take is a quick message. But that is that image. Cool. Okay. Oh, okay. So let's go through colours. Christmas time. Nearly Christmas time. Let's really enjoy those sentences. Uh, let's have a look. Hang on, what I will do is J three eight four one L seven seven five. There's a lot of blues in that one. Yeah, the Shido doesn't have much in the way of blues. Radio. Oh, okay. Here we go. Let's work our way through the colours. And for those of you, um, not purchased diamond shop before hang on a sec oh no I can't okay guys I, I had a look I went and stuck my nose in and for the left for the cheetah I've got 152159 for the leopard I've got 152154 so I did have a quick look at these numbers, 152, 159. So we're all good there. So I'm just going to pop these out and go through them. I'll high speed it where I bring them out and bring them back in. And yeah. And that's one thing I will say, regardless of what company I order from, although granted there's a lot of Daimu ones at the moment because I'm loving them, um, regardless of the company and how much I trust them, I still check the numbers. 
I did get one stuck behind and I went, oh, that's not enough. I was missing one and I found it. But all right, now to put these all back into this bag, close to as neat as possible as Diamond does. It took me two minutes to put these back in there and then rip the side of the bag. So, you know what? This one, when I finish uh, the others, this one will be getting kitted up. This will be, well, this, I don't know whether this will be my next one or the one after. I'm hanging to get into drift with all the purples, but I want to get these done so they can go up on my wall. Anyway, um, I'll just put this aside because this is going to have to be kitted up. This is a round. I will show you the quality of the other drills. I believe I'd be better off doing that now that I've moved them over there. So you can see the plastic, the lines of the plastic, not of the canvas. Cord glue and sticky as. Sticky as. Okay. One thing that I do like to do is I use a, I use a hairdryer. If I'm going to be leaving a diamond painting for a while, I use a hairdryer to put this down. And what that does, I find, is just reheats the glue and gives it more sticky. Sorry, I had a drill from the last diamond painting. But I've just taken off almost the cut line out of that and still see the lines here. But here we go. As a round, there is, <laughs> I love the way that everybody calls them training wheels. They're a target. They're a guidance for you. Oh, come on, plastic, stay back. I prefer to like think of them as guidance for your missiles as you're throwing your drills at them. But here we go. That's, look at how clear that is. There is, so you've got, the, the colours behind that are actually in a square. Sorry, guys, my camera, I've changed my camera angle, which means you're getting my camera head. But those symbols are clear. There's an at sign, which looks a bit horrible, but that's an at sign. Um, but the background, so the background for each colour is square so that any colours thro show through, they will uh, turn around and just accentuate in the background to get a little bit off, off placing onto your diamond painting. Okay. Rightio, so that is the cheetah. Um, which... He is beautiful. So yet it's a 50 by 62, so it's 50 high, 62 wide. So it's a bit bigger than the ones that I gave away. And we shall, being a custom, custom, um, do, I do like to check on a custom sizing. A uh, 60... 61 and a half, which, yeah, by 50, basically, just about 50. But these are great because now, because, I will say, because I don't have the legend next to, um, on the canvas, I almost don't need to frame these. But when I do, if I put these on a um, board, all I need to do is Oops. All I need to do is roll that over a board and frame it on a, just on a board like that. Um, but yeah. How's he looking? Okay, I'm going to put this one away and pick up the legend I just dropped. Back to you shortly. Okay, here we go. Um, <laughs> do you know what? I think it's wholly and solely the difference in the animals not actually <laughs> knowing what the animals are um, by the label. 
Okay, one thing I did forget to mention. Whoops. Massive, massive baggies. Um, so I've got heaps of baggies. So this is my leopard. And yet again, 45 colours. Diamond are consistent with their colours. With how many? And how cool is that one? See how they put cheetah? But it's not the cheetah, it's a leopard. Um, yeah, so I will go through. I'll make the camera focus again and I'll go through these uh, in high speed and we'll check it out. So yet again, all 45 colours there. And uh, I'm going to try not to rip the bag this time as I put them in back in here. Okay. quite as neat but all back in there and in order how cool is that okay so that is the cheetah now the one that one's on the floor that's easy on the floor the bag's not split <laughs> now this one this one I'm actually already working on this picture however not to this side and I didn't show you but I will I didn't show you the last one <laughs> I'm going to put this one to the side so I'll wait for my colours and then we'll go through the canvas I didn't show you the last canvas um, I don't believe you need to see that canvas but I will my biggest thing to me is always the drills so guarantee you I can't get them back and back there like that. Yet again, they're all here now. Quality-wise, um, this is of the only these of these all of these. This one is the only one that has three tin in it. So, if you can see, those three tins are pretty good. Look at how flat those backs are. Can't see any trash in them. Um, 597, I don't think I've got 597 anywhere. I might do. But see how beautiful they are. They are stunning. Um, so the, the colours that get mass produced are the ones you need to worry about more than anything else. 
and hey, uh, all of my cats always have lots of the look at how flat and beautiful that is on the back um, three oh, oh no three three seven three three seven one three nine three not much in the way of the eight two three but let's have a look at the look at that <laughs> um, yeah, they're all the quality is just phenomenal, and the sparkle on them. Okay, pop these back in the bag and get back to you. Okay, I rolled these up and I forgot to hit the record button, but they're all back in there. As I said, not quite as neat, but okay, so. This is the one that, so this is actually my lion cub. You might be able to see up here, this is part of my lioness. So for those guys that are watching me do my blank custom, um, you know, where I'm working from scratch, this is the lion cub in that picture. This is not the same picture. This is a picture where I zoomed in on the cub. But isn't he gorgeous? He is beautiful. Oh, oh, here we go. This is the excitement for me. Um, yeah, these guys, I was, when I took this picture, oh, look at how big he looks against my hands. When I took this picture, he was less, they were less than 10 metres away from us, less than, and there was no fence and we were in an open vehicle and it was, a surreal, absolutely beautiful feeling. But, oh, wow. Okay, so with this one, they did beef up the green a bit. So you can see the green has been beefed up a bit. Just to add a little bit of interest in the background, which is really great. So Reg, 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 Reg oh, I'm tripping over my words because I'm so excited. Reggie. Um, he did alter these a little bit for me just to give them a bit more finesse. Um, there was one he altered too much and he did take it back. He toned it down for me. Um, but what I'm going to do now, just so you can see how I plan to have these, I'm going to get some blue tack on these corners and put them up on the wall and you're going to see how these are going to sit on my wall because that's one thing about customs is... Well, it's one thing about all diamond paintings is you're going to get there and go, I need to work out where I want to put it when I purchase something or know where I'm going to put it. Um, and you'll find that two have two of these have greens in them and one of them doesn't. Um, the reason behind that is because two were taken from Inkwink Ink Wink Wednesday Private Game Reserve and one was taken, to, and the leopard was taken at Kruger. So the climate behind the climate for the leopard was totally different for the, the lion cub and the cheetah. But I will get back to you with the, what they're going to look like when they're on the wall. Okay, so this is my hallway and directly behind me is the front door. So when we have people come into our house, what they're going to see, besides a crooked mat, is my three animals. My three cats. And because we've got the cover on, you can't really see. But what we're going to have is, here we go, I'll take the light off. You will see, you walk down the passageway, this is what you'll see. You will have three cats basically looking at you. There we go, how's that? At the end of my hallway. So they are going to be perfect there at that size um, once they're all done and yet yeah, something that people will see when they walk in the front door. What do you think? <laughs> oh, I'm hanging to get these done. Okay, so the cheetah, the leopard and the lion cub and now because the lion cub I'll come back in. The lion cub and the cheetah have the greens and the leopard is in the middle with the brown. So, um, yeah, they're just, uh, yeah, 
I just thought that was a lot better. And sorry for the jiggling of the camera. Okay, so what do you guys think? Do I, do I have it in a nice order there? The cheetah. Sorry, I just did that myself. I called that a cheetah. The leopard. My lion cub. And the cheetah. And the cheetah is about to get kitted up. Um, so, yeah, stay tuned for that one. Yet again, guys, Dime Moon. They've just done, done themselves proud with these. I, I'm really wrapped. Reggie, thank you. I can't say it enough. Thank you. The quality on these is brilliant. Um, yeah, I'm hanging to do these. I'm so glad that Kimono is completed because there's nothing stopping me from getting into these except for the fact that I want to get other ones done. <laughs> so, guys, um, what can I say? Leave me a comment. Give me a thumbs up. Thumbs down if you want. Um, while you leave me a comment, hit the subscribe button. Um, you guys, I am, as I think I've mentioned, eight, 829, so getting close to a 1,000 subscriber mark. So anybody that subscribes, you are helping me out to reach that magical 1,000. Um, yeah, really am looking forward to that. And on the flip side of that, while you're down there, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell so you get notified of um, when I upload and um, if you do that you'll get notified of when I kit these up and when I work on them because I think these will be full projects. Uh, I don't know whether I'll do time lapse of just each one or what, whether I'll do whip and chats or what but okay guys I'm just too excited and I'm rambling I've got again um, guys thank you for watching yet again comment thumbs up thumbs down Let's does it go that way? Does that work? It's great. Mucking around again. Yeah, hit the subscribe button and obviously hit that bell to get notified. And thank you guys for watching. Um, stay tuned. I actually am working on a diamond paint that's not diamond moon shop, by the way. Um, so yeah, guys, I'll catch you later and bye for now.